Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I will demonstrate usage of Secrets Manager in AWS. The example we're gonna take is Python code connecting to my database, which is in AWS. Python code requires username, password, and the host name of relational database. Now, the question is where I have to store these details, sensitive information like password. There are several different options to handle this, but in this lecture, let's see how to use Secrets Manager to securely store our credentials. Any secrets that could be a database password or API token, anything which is sensitive and which should be safe and secure. For the purpose of this demo, I have created relational database service with MySQL engine in AWS. Let's go and find its details for connecting. So we need to have its endpoint, port number, username and password. I'm using MySQL Workbench for interacting with my database. Initially, I want to have a table so that my application written in Python will interact to this database server and inserts data into it. I'm going to create a table with name employees. It has ID and name that got created. I have written a small piece of Python code using MySQL connected driver. It's connecting to my DB on its host. That's username, password and the database I want to use is Java Home app because the employees table is created inside this database. I am opening a cursor on this one. See this usually gets me a connection to my database. On that I am opening a cursor. I am preparing my insert query to insert data into my table. So here it's ID column name. ID followed by name and for that insert query I am preparing values employee ID followed by the name and I am executing it. After execution I am committing my transaction. Okay let's remove this one which is unwanted. In the end I am printing record inserted. Let's open the terminal. Python 3, one record inserted. Let's go and check that from MySQL Workbench. Yep, we have data there. In order to work with this example, you need to have Python 3 installed on your laptop. And along with Python 3, you also need to have MySQL connector installed. Pip3 should come along with your Python 3 installation. You have to do this Pip3 install MySQL connector. It's already installed on my laptop. So it says requirement already satisfied. So I'm able to connect and insert data into my DB, but my concern is I can't keep a password like this in the code, which is not safe. There are several different ways to handle this, but in this example, I'm going to store all my details like host, username, password inside my secrets manager so that it will be safe and secure. I can uh, secure my secrets manager also by defining IAM policies. So only authorized applications and users can go and access that. Now let's go to AWS secrets manager. Let's hit store a new secret. So there are different types of templates there. If you want to store secrets of a relational database 
I could directly use this template. Let's say you want to store the secrets or configuration details of any generic databases. You can choose this option and you can customize the data and what you want to store inside this uh, secrets manager. But fine, I want to choose this one as credentials for RDS username. my password and this information is by default encrypted with a default encryption key if you want even better security you can create your own KMS for encrypting that information come down select that database information you want to store in the secrets That's the name I'm giving. So you can keep this information relevant to your application name. Go next. So we have uh, automatic key rotation. Usually uh, in company cyber security teams will mandate saying you have to rotate your passwords every 30 days or every 60 days. So that can be completely automated using uh, the automatic rotation which is supported by secrets manager but for this discussion I don't want to use that I want to keep that disabled go next and it's also giving you a sample code for accessing our secrets from the secrets manager but anyways leave that for now hit store remember only authorized applications and authorized users will have access to this retrieve see I, I, I have access so I'm able to see the information which is stored in this secrets manager but in real-time scenarios everybody may not have access to this and everybody cannot go and see what is there inside this secrets manager so you can also view that as a plain text behind the scenes your information is stored as a JSON string. Now I want to eliminate this code, this piece of information from my code, access that from secrets manager and start connecting to my database. So I need to use Python SDK for AWS which is Boto3. So like we installed MySQL connector, you also need to install Boto 3 on your laptop. It's already there in my in my case. So you, you have to import Boto 3. Then you need to get the client of secrets manager. Boto 3 secrets manager. Open that. I want to show you how to get secret value get secret value so click on that get secret value it provides more information about how to get the secret details So here, secret ID. Secret ID is the name of secret we gave here. Version ID, version stage, they are not required for now. Go and check the written type, it's dictionary. Uh, in that response, I want to access secret string from a response. that returns back my JSON object in the form of a string but I want to convert that string into my dictionary it will be easy to access 
the data by passing keys. So I want to take help of JSON module. Load string and written back a dictionary. So I need to access hostname from this secret dictionary. Let's go and find what is its key in Secrets Manager. The key is host. Okay. Likewise, I need to get the username. It is username. The key storing password inside Secrets Manager is password. And for getting DB name, the key is DB name. Now we are completely eliminating or separating all our secrets from our source code. We are securely storing them in Secrets Manager. Now let me execute this program. So it successfully inserted one more record, but now in this example, we are getting all the details of my database from Secrets Manager. Let's query the table using MySQL Workbench. I see that new record inserted into my table. And one more important point how my Python is able to access Secrets Manager in my account. So what I have done is I have created access keys and secret keys in my AWS account and that is configured using my AWS CLI. If you already know this process you can skip. If you are new I will show how to set up that. Go to Identity and Access Management. Go to Users. Add User. Programmatic Access. Attach existing policies directly. So select that policy or you can create a custom policy which allows us only to retrieve secrets from our secrets manager. Create that. I need to configure access keys and secret access keys on my laptop using AWS CLI. You need to install AWS CLI on your laptops. You go to this specific link and find the options to download CLI on your laptop. I'm using Mac OS for that. I'm using this option. In your case, right, depending on the operating system where you're setting it up, go and find the things here. So run AWS configure after installing your CLI. Provide access key ID and also provide secret access key. You don't expose a secret access key to anybody else because it, it gives permissions to others to access your resources in AWS account. 
region keep whatever is uh, relevant for you default output format keep it none that's it so once you configure this you have your your python code has access to aws secrets manager it can query secrets manager access data use that information and connect to database